Well, how's it going guys? I'm back out here again today on one of my favorite stretches of the river for smallmouth. And you know one thing I've found out the last few years is that this river also has a good population of nice sized catfish. So I brought out a catfish rig today. I got some cocktail shrimp here I'm using for bait. And I actually just drifted past that tree right there and I saw a couple nice catfish hanging out. Plan here is uh, to throw my bait right in front of it, let the current carry that scent into there and hopefully it'll draw one of those catfish out of there. See what happens. There we go. I got him. Get a little distance between him and that tree there. Hey, he's going away from it anyway. Feels like a good fish. Definitely putting some bend in the rod. Man, these things put up a good fight. It's really not even all that big, but... He sure is fighting. That's not a bad sized cat. Alright, first things first, let's get that hook out of ya. kind of how I grab catfish, at least the bigger ones. The reason I don't grab them like a bass and just stick my thumb in there, they don't really have teeth, but they can bite down on your thumb pretty hard, and if they get you right on the thumb knuckle, it really doesn't feel all that good. And yeah, about this size or smaller, I just put my thumb underneath one of those spines, and then the other one between my middle and my pointer finger there. It's a pretty good way to hold them too. Not a bad cat for the first one. I think we'll get some bigger ones than that though. There he goes. Well, I've had my line in for about 15 minutes since that last fish without a bite, so I think I'm gonna pull it in and go find another spot to try. I'll show you guys my setup real quick here, though. I really don't have a catfish rod at the moment, so I'm using my bait cast combo here that I'd usually use for topwater frog fishing for largemouth. This is a six foot eight, medium heavy power, fast action. St. Croix Legend Tournament Rod with a quantum smoke reel. And I've got 30 pound braid spooled onto there. And then the rig itself is pretty much just a standard catfish rig. I've got a two ounce no roll sinker here that slips along that main line. And I got a swivel there. You can see at the sinker end of that, I've got this little rubber bead there. That just protects the knot from the sinker banging into it and, and fraying it up. and possibly causing it to break at some point. And then I got oh, probably about a foot of a leader on the other side of the swivel there. Um, I've got 20 pound mono for the leader. Um, one thing you want to make sure of when you set up a rig like this, you always want that leader to be weaker than your main line. That way if you do end up snagging up on something and you have to snap it, it'll usually snap somewhere along the mono there and you'll keep everything but your, your hook. So 
keep your sinker and your, your swivel and all that. And I just got a 4 aught octopus hook. Now if I was fishing from the bank with my rod sitting in a rod holder, I'd, I'd definitely use a circle hook, but um, today I'm kind of watching the rod tip or actually feeling for the bite, so I'm getting a good quick hook set on them. That first fish was hooked right in the corner of the mouth, so I think we'll be alright with that hook. And then, like I said earlier for bait, I'm using cocktail shrimp. I always had good luck with that out on the Red River in my hometown of Fargo. I did a lot of catfishing back before I got my kayak, so... It should be fun today if we can hook into a few more. But I'm going to paddle on to the next spot. Let's see if we can find a few more fish. Now this looks like a good spot to try. Let's see if there's anything hanging out in there. That's a good spot. Not much current going through here, but I know I've pulled a couple catfish out of that tree in the past, so we'll see. There's definitely something nibbling on it down there. I think it's just some little bass or something though. Oh, we got one. Nope, that feels like a catfish. He's just sitting down there chewing on it. A couple little taps there, but I lifted up on it and there's something there. Yeah, it's definitely a good fish. Here, I thought I had a couple little smallies nibbling on it down there. Fighter. Yeah, I'd say the shrimp seems to be doing the trick out here on this river too. not want to give up and pull me off my spot here. Come here you. This wants to roll. swallowed that hook. I'm going through the gill here. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Oh yeah, we should be able to get that out, no problem. is out. Hello. Uh oh, he's bleeding. Yeah, he'll be all right. He 
Yep, I let that one chew on it just a little bit too long. He was biting it kind of weird though. Does little taps, like a little smolly chewing on that thing, but nope, I lifted that rod up and there's definitely some weight there. Well, I have done snagged the snapping turtle with my catfish rig. There you go. You're free. Maybe that's why I wasn't getting any bites over there. <laughs> well, this little spot here looks promising. Kind of just pulled up to this log here. I tied it off to my anchor cleat at the back there. So that should keep me nice and still. See if there's anything hanging out in this little cluster of logs. There we go, I got him. That's a big one. Yeah, he's gonna pull some drag, I think. Yeah, that's definitely a good sized fish. I can't even hardly lift him. Bait only sat up there a couple minutes too. It came right out and grabbed it. That's not a bad cat. I figured he was gonna be a little bigger than that. Man, he's a fighter. Wow. Come here, you. Let's get that hook out of you. Man, he's just chewing on my hand there. Yeah, that's a good sized cat right there. Yeah, those things are fun to catch. Probably the hardest fighting fish in this river, I bet. I figured that one was going to be about twice that size by the, the fight he put up there. Man, he was pulling hard. That's fun, though. 
Might have to come out here and target these catfish more often.